Despite extensive restoration efforts, the waters of the Chesapeake Bay remain some of the dirtiest in the world. But now an Anne Arundel County man is launching a project which he is convinced will help restore the bay. And as Jeff Abel shows us, he's starting with an oyster. I've lived on the Chesapeake Bay for 38 years. I would not let my children swim in that bay today. For most of his life, Andrew Mertza has watched the Chesapeake Bay become one polluted mess. I have watched so many floods. I have replaced my pier four times. I've had avalanches come down my embankment. The bay's dirty green waters are some of the filthiest in the country. And now, Mertza believes he can help turn all 200 miles of dirty water into fresh water. Well, the main guy that can clean that water is the oyster. And the oyster is my world now. These funny little almost lumps on the side of this shell, those are actually baby oysters. Oysters are natural filters. And 50 years ago, the oyster reefs filtered the entire bay. They remove all bad things. They are, they are really the filtration system of the waters that they're in. But as the health of the bay deteriorated, the oyster population all but vanished. Now Mirza has a plan to get them back. <laughs> Mirza and a group of friends are creating what they call oyster hotels. Floating cages guarded by barley grass that will allow baby oysters to grow. In nine months, they will be a large enough, mature enough oyster to really fend for themselves to be dropped to the reefs. Their goal is to have an oyster hotel attached to all 60,000 docks, jetties, and piers on the Chesapeake Bay. If you have 60,000 hotels with several hundred oysters in it, that's going to be really cleaning up our big swimming pool, isn't it? The oyster hotels cost $500 a piece, but the state of Maryland rewards people who buy these hotels or any other oyster float with up to a $500 tax credit. We're going to make this work. It's going to work. Their goal is to help bring the bay back, one oyster at a time. You can't bring everything back, but we can sure try. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News at 10. Well, to get in touch with the Oyster King, you can call 410-255-1492. By the way, increasing the oyster population isn't a new idea. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation has its own oyster gardening program. It helps participants build their own cages and grow their own oysters.